again, I agree. <laughs> I think it starts at home. I think it starts with the parents. We need to educate these young people to to be aware of what that is, what that is, and what it does to you. I think with the crime problem that we have, with the drugs and that's going on now, I think we need to give the police department all the support and, and the backbone that we can, so that they have the tools to get out there and do what needs to be done to eradicate the problem in Brownwood. Brownwood has a reputation of having a lot of drugs tra traffic through here. I think as a community, with community awareness and, and, and the support to our police department and our sheriff's department, we can, we can change that reputation. And we can turn this thing around so that, that, that Brownwood has a reputation of being a great community to live in. It is a great community to live in, don't get me wrong. I love it here. I've been here for 30-something years, and I love it. But the drug problem is there. I don't see it because I'm not involved in it. But it's out there. And, and whenever somebody gets addicted to a drug and they need another fix, next thing you know, things are getting stolen and, and, and burglaries are starting to go on and so that they can go out and get money. Now, I've been involved, I've been, have had that happen to me, you know, where, where somebody comes and they, they steal my thing and I'm, I'm very upset about it because there's nothing I can do about it. And it happens over and over and over where my business is. So I feel like that if we support the police department, give them what they need to do it, and, and, and communicate with our parents and our community, we can fix this problem.